everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new to my channel then hello and welcome today I'm gonna to be doing another Cricut video I have done many in the past on my channel but this time I'm gonna be introducing you guys to the Cricut maker it is my first time using the Cricut Maker, however I have used the Cricut Explore Air 2 and I have a video about getting started with the Cricut Explorer 2 as well as many projects. So I'm very excited today because I'm going to be showing you the Cricut Maker and how to get started with the Cricut Maker. Now what I mean by that is I'm going to unbox this beautiful box here, get the Maker out, show you how I set it up and everything like that connecting it to your computer or your device just to show you all the basic steps that you would need to know when you buy your maker. So if you're new to my channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I'm very excited to be doing the getting started with the maker and yeah let's get started. So if you watched my Cricut Explorer 2 video then you will know that I started off just kind of very relaxed talking about the machine itself. Now this is the Cricut Maker and it's a little bit more advanced than the Cricut Explore Air 2. You may have seen that before you bought it or if you're thinking about buying it. This one does a lot more than the Cricut Explore Air 2 will do. It has more functionalities and basically it's just your all-round machine. It can do so much. It can cut so many different materials. Now when I got my first Cricut machine it was a little bit intimidating and I was like how does this work? I couldn't really put my mind to the machine and be like how does this process work but actually once it clicks it's really really simple to do and you'll be whizzing away and making all sorts of projects so so let's have a little look at the box itself so it just says ultimate smart cutting machine and then on the top it goes over all of the stuff and you've got the ones that are in the box which is cool because it comes with a fine point pen a rotary blade and a premium fine point blade. This is the kind of standard blade that um, comes with the Cricut Explore Air 2 as well. But you've obviously got these extra components. And then this is more tools, more materials, more possibilities. So again, it just kind of confirms that this machine does so much more than the Cricut Explore Air 2. And let's open it up and see what we've got inside. So now I've unboxed everything, let's go over everything in a little bit more detail, especially if you're getting started you're going to want to know what everything is because it can seem a little bit confusing at first. So we've got our Cricut Maker, I've got the lovely rose gold and just look how cute it looks on the side. And then obviously, very simple, we've got our plug, so this will plug into the back of the Cricut. You have a port at the back which I'll show a close up detail of that. On the back you not only have your adapter where you plug it in but you also have a cable so if you don't want to use Bluetooth connectivity to your device that you're cutting um, and making your design on then you can actually plug it in with a USB adapter and that way you can just print straight up through that. You've then got your compartment on the side here. This is great for storing your Cricut accessories like your weeding tool and any kind of little extra bits that you have like that can go in that little side compartment there. So once it's open, you can open it up like this. And once you lift that top bit, both of them kind of fall open. And then, like the Cricut Explorer 2, you've also got a storage compartment at the bottom here, which I'll show you in more detail as well. And then here, this is where you pop your tools, like your cutting knife, your pen, whatever tool you're using. They go in these little A and B components here. It may seem intimidating at first, but it's actually really easy to use. You've got your on switch. You've also got your feeding switch, which is what feeds your cutting mat into the machine. You've got the cricket switch, which is the little C, and that is when you're going to start cutting. That's like your kind of confirm button. C conf for confirm, C for cricket. And then you've got a pause button as well. So if you're in the middle of a cut and you feel like you want to change something, or for any reason you need to pause your artwork if you've got a pop out, um, or anything like that then you can use the pause button as well so that's it in terms of design so that's all plugged in and ready to go but before we get started connecting it up to your software I am going to be showing you what else comes in the box so we have some cutting mats 
we have the light grip mat which is this, this blue one really good for materials like paper um, any kind of very thin materials that are maybe a bit more fragile so for example if you're unsure what the cutting mat is because I was completely clueless before I started using the machines they have a sticky texture to them that's why you might see at the moment they've got that kind of like plastic sheet it's because you have a plastic sheet covering like that which is a protection sheet and what that does is it just protects the stickiness so if I show you when you unpeel that like that this is actually sticky and depending on what mat you use you have a light mat which has got a slightly less sticky texture and then this pink one which is your fabric grip so the fabric grip obviously designed for cottons denim any kind of fabrics that you're using as well your green cutting mat, as you can see this is very loved, um, this is your standard cutting mat, so I use this for like iron on vinyl and things like that, it's called your standard grip, so let's see, wait for that to, there you go, so your standard grip mat. Also in the box is this little box inside, which I'm guessing has all your accessories in there, materials for your first project. Oh, that's nice. So it's got a little folder here. I'm guessing there's some materials which we will explore in a second. Oh, perfect. So you've got a little manual here. Get started in four steps. Right, so then in here we've got the rotary blade. And then we've got a Cricut rotary blade cap. A pen. And then the cable that I mentioned earlier, which is the one in case you don't want to use Bluetooth connectivity, you can connect this directly to your device that you're using if it's got a USB. Then if you're wondering where your fine point blade is, it's already in the machine. Now I'll show you a close up, but basically what this is, is it's already in there. Fine point blade looks like. So inside this little materials folder or envelope, oh, so cute. So we have a bit of test fabric, some really nice cards, and also a bigger piece of card as well. Because I'm showing you how to get started with the machine, I'm also going to show you a very simple little DIY that you can do as well, something to get you started, and I think it's only right if I use the little materials that it's given us here to kind of show you what you can do as like a test project when you first get started. So I'm thinking I might try and combine all of the materials and do a kind of little badge to say like well done or like cricket crafter or something cute like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how I'm going to connect my maker to my MacBook and then the same process works if you're using an iPad and things like that as well. You need to download the Cricut Design Space, it's free to download on their website and you can download it on any device, iPad, iPhone, um, and I'm doing it on my Mac. It's completely free to use and set up to your machine. Any kind of uh, fonts and things like that you can use actually from your device. But there's, Cricut has a huge array of fonts, uh, typefaces, and different shapes, different projects that you can use. Some that you have to pay sort of a little price towards and others are free as well. So have a look on their little shop page and stuff like that once you're on the Cricut Design Space. It's really easy to download. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clip to the next bit which is gonna be a screen recording of my MacBook and it's gonna show you how I'm connecting up and things like that. First, before we do that, make sure you turn on your machine. Once you have downloaded the Cricut Design Space, you will see in the top right corner this machine drop down. Now, mine is already connected to my Cricut Explore Air 2, however, the Maker automatically shows up there. So I've clicked on Maker, and also my projects, here you go, you can see that it's now on the Cricut Maker, and it's ticked. So we're gonna start a new project, so I'm gonna click that. And for this project, I'm going to use the three basic materials that came in the box and I've decided to create a little Cricut Crafter badge. So you can play around with this and the Cricut design space is really simple to use. However, I'm gonna keep it really, really simple and just insert a circular shape. I've then clicked insert text box and I'm just writing Cricut Crafter. And once I've done that, I can choose the font. So you can click that little drop down there and I'm gonna use a Cricut font that is on the Cricut design space. You can scroll through all the fonts, there's lots to choose from and yeah. I went for one called Cricut Craft Room Basics and you'll see it's kind of this cute little bold font. Now I'm just resizing the circle and the font to the size of the material that I want to cut. You make sure you measure the material that you're cutting 
and for this project it's about three inches wide the circle so then you can resize your font to fit in the circle like so. If this is your first time using a machine then don't worry it just takes a little bit of practice to get used to the functionalities on the Cricut Design Space however just have a little play and it's, it gets easy after a while. Select both of your fonts and you want to click the wheeled button and this creates it as one layer. Hover it over your circle and then you can align it centre so you can make sure that it's in the centre of your circle. Then go back and select all of your layers and you want to click slice. And what that does is it means that it slices the Cricut Crafter font into the circle shape itself and then you can delete both the fonts and you're left with your circle with Cricut Crafter cut in it and that is the shape that you're going to cut out on one of the material layers. Then on the left click images and then search ribbon and what I'm doing here is I'm searching for a ribbon type shape that I can use to cut out on the fabric. Once I've found the ribbon shape that I like I insert it into my canvas and because it is a full design I can just delete the top part that I don't need. Just be aware that some of the added shapes on the Cricut Design Space require an extra fee. What I like to do as well is I like to change the colour of my shapes to a rough colour of the material that I'm going to be cutting. That just helps me to recognise what shape is for what colour fabric that I'm cutting. And then I just follow that same process to find the scalloped edging of my badge. So once I'm happy with my design, I click save, and now it's time to set up the machine. So you click on the left, new machine set up under your profile. And it's really easy to follow the steps to get started. So you just need to choose what machine you have, click on that, and follow the steps and the instructions. Plug in your USB device to your device, and therefore it will find your device where it says no device found currently. Um, but then you just connect it simply, as you can see it says please wait. It finds my machine and it connects and it's that simple. Now on my profile you'll see that my badge design is already saved and you click make it and it takes you through to this little design area which looks like your cutting mats. Now there's three separate mats for three separate cuts and you can see they're in different colours white, blue and darker blue. Once your machine is recognised and loaded you can set your material so for the white cut it was a light cardstock so I set it to light cardstock and then on the machine it will be ready to feed in your mat in order to cut it so I will insert an overlay of what that would look like on your machine so once you've pressed the print button on the machine or the make it button you've got your paper on your mats like this you've selected the material on your machine you just pop the mat in the little guides there and then you'll see that this light is flashing because you've sent the project from your computer to the machine. So you just press this, then it goes. And then you'll get the little C which flashes. And I'm noticing already it's a lot faster than the Explore Air 2. So here it goes. Whilst your machine is cutting, what's really handy is you'll be able to see a little percentage of what the cut's process is like on your device. So that's really great because you can see how long you've got left to go. Once your cut is done, this will flash up again and that is just meaning to tell you it's time to get it out of the machine. So there we go, there is step one done. We've cut our first bit of card. And yeah, very, very excited. So once that cut is complete, we move on to the next cut, which is the little fabric ribbon. Now, once you've got that ready and you've set your fabric to fabric or cotton, it will tell you to load the rotatory blade into your machine. Now, I'll show you how I do that. So you just pop it in, that stays on. And then clamp it, boop. And then let's get our fabric on our mat. So we pop our fabric and our mat in there like we did with the last one. And then click the little button. It's just figuring out what it wants to do. 
and then we click the C. Ooh, my first time cutting fabric. It's always a bit nervous and exciting at the same time. <laughs> Great, and that's done. Amazing, and now on to step three. So this step, we have to cut the scalloped edge. Now it's telling us to load the fine point blade again, which is absolutely fine, you know how to do that now. It's in clamp B, pop that blade in and make sure light cardstock is selected and you can start cutting. So back to the fine point blade, I've got my blue card on the mat and it's time to cut this one. So I'm just making sure that this is all level. Okey dokey. Right on the edge, this one, but just bits. So, once your projects are cut, you can simply take off the excess. A little tip so you don't bend the actual project is bend the mat, the mat is flexible, so you can bend the mat away from the project instead of the other way around, and it keeps it nice and flat. So, this tool is named a weeding tool and it's just a sharp little point and what this does is it helps you to move any of the excess material off your mat. guys there is a really simple little make just to show you how to get started with the maker it's so cute I think I'm going to pop this on my wall right next to the machine just so I can be reminded that I'm a Cricut crafter and yeah I just think that is super cute thank you so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed seeing how to get started with the Cricut maker I'm so excited to be having this new machine and to make loads of new projects and I hope you're excited too and I hope this gave you a bit more confidence in yourself and if you haven't bought the machine yet then I hope you got to see how exciting and how awesome this machine can be. There's so many possibilities. So yeah, thank you for joining me in today's video and if you're new to my channel then make sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button, it really helps me out and yeah, thank you so much for watching guys, I'll see you next time, bye!